the, the sports fields and there was a robin. There's robins out on the sports fields and a hawk came down right and killed the right in front of me, man. I okay. couldn't believe it. But that's what hawks do. They gotta eat. That's what they do, yeah. They're yep. birds too, and that's yep. what they do. Apparently you can eat pigeons though. Well there's utility grade birds, eh? And they're like three times as big. Oh, is that right? Really big birds. Um, wow. Like, some of the like a Cornish birds. game hen, it'd be like a Cornish Sand game. Sandhills Have you ever eaten pigeon? I, I, I have squab, they them. call it squab, I think, right? Uh, these guys like you. Now you got a name. Yeah, they call them, uh, dogs. Dogs. They're actually technically they're rockets. You know, in when we're in Hawaii, there's these little ones, and they go, Whoo! They make a little. They're like they're tiny little doves. Yeah. They're cute, eh? Yeah. They're beautiful birds. Well, every culture and race on Earth, forever since the beginning of time, man, people have cultivated these. Birds. Bird pigeons. So they've been around doves, a long time. Doves, these pigeons. things are all around you, man. They love you. These pigeons love you, dude. Okay, she's got a little, you got a little bird in there too. Like, I don't know how well their nesting is under the Coast Guard dog. What are you feeding them? Uh, pretty high. So when I get reincarnated as a pigeon, I, I'm going to come back here and then you can feed me because that's good food, right? Yeah. These are healthy pigeons. You're not, you're not fattening them up to eat them, are you? Well, uh, I, I would love to have an aviary, man, because there's like an instant flock here. It'd be cool. I know, they're all over. Well, Richard Merican, he has tons of them. He had tons of them. There they go. Something's good. It's, it's 600 bucks a bird, man. There's 60 grand worth of birds here. Oh, that's my the way God. I look at it. Holy cow. That's beautiful, man. I'm glad you're feeding them. I think that's cool because I like birds. When I, when I uh, started feeding them, they were herd little units, man. They really? Were, Do more come than this? Do you actually get more than this coming? Or is this max? First thing in the morning, I get like 70 birds. Really? And it's kind of frantic. Wow. Well, they're miss, coming back again. Especially if I miss a day, it's, it's ultra franticness. They're waiting for their breakfast. It's created a bit of a codependency. It's feeding time, right? They know you. They probably, when they see you come to the park, they're coming down. They meet me on the beach, man. But I've, I've been doing other maneuvers to deep promote it because, you know, I don't want the codependency to go too far. No, no, no. Then they're going to rely on you. Especially on my end, too. Like, I don't, I'm, I'm already pretty attached to them. Oh, I know. No, that's cool. Especially if something gets one, you're going to be upset. Well, well, I have to leave or... I know. Then they're going to say, where did he go, man? Where's our, where's our breakfast guy? Oh, yeah. Look at them, look at them gliding down. That's pretty cool. I think it's awesome, dude. And you're not playing chess today. You're feeding pigeons. Well, it's, uh, it's really been dreaming my retirement years. That's great, man. It's awesome. You're an awesome guy. You could have it fly free. It's put it in at night in the boat in a case. Just one kid that chases them around and eventually catches them. That's nice. Like, you know how to actually get the heart to the whole flock, man. <laughs> <laughs> These guys love you, man. They do. You're an awesome guy. Thanks See you later, dude.